If there's one word that defines this Powashik County town of 9,200 people, it would have to be community in the truest sense of the word. It's never about why should we, it's why shouldn't we, Let, let's do it. I think the only way to make something sustainable is to make it so that there's a community ownership aspect of what's going on. But when it really comes down to it, um, everybody's here to help everybody else. It's that sense of community that gives Grinnell, Iowa its nickname, Jewel of the Prairie. It's uh, wonderful, uh, really. I mean, both my wife and I kind of like a small town. We're delighted to, to be retired in a small town. But then on top of that, to have a town that is very conscious of itself and of the opportunities it has to improve. It's that culture of continued community improvement that makes Grinnell a clear choice for Iowa's Blue Zone designation. On any given day, one look around Grinnell and even the casual observer will notice the culture in this vibrant Iowa town is different from other towns of similar size. Grinnell is comprised of a unique blend of small town pride mixed with the ideals and diversity of a nationally renowned liberal arts college. A perfect storm of collaboration for all that the Iowa Blue Zones effort embodies. And the main thing that Imagine Mural does is it helps to uh, take projects that are getting off the ground and help to provide support for them, whether that's grant writing, whether it's um, you know, collab finding collaborations between the organizations, and to help them get off the ground and then to sort of let them go. So that's been the model of Imagine All for the 26 years that it's been in existence. The effort has paid off. Collaborations between the public and private sector has led to the creation of events such as music in the park and new venues including the Drake Community Library, a new aquatic center, and a new auditorium and gymnasium for Grinnell area youth. I think the best way to thank the people of Grinnell for giving us these, these awesome facilities you know, here in the auditorium or over in the gymnasium is to really give our hearts out on the court, on the stage, and hope that they can come see us perform and know that they were a part of building our, our program. The emphasis on recreation and uh, health and wellness and parks and programming is really pretty sophisticated for a town of its size. I mean, if you look at the Parks and Rec brochure of all the programming that's available for kids and adults and families, I mean, it looks like a Park and Rec brochure of a city many times its size. But as proud of this community as its citizens, students, and leaders are, this is not a town that prides itself on maintaining status quo. There's a real opportunity for us to even collaborate more and, and, and really get to a tipping point where we can reach many more of our community members, especially those that are at risk. Todd Linden is CEO of Grinnell Regional Medical Center. He knows the way in which health care is provided in Grinnell must change from the current model of simply treating the sick to a renewed focus on prevention. So I, I think one of the exciting parts of the, of, of, of the Blue Zones project allows the medical center to take existing programs and just reach much deeper into the community. But the visioning doesn't just stop at new health care programs, community gardens, or expanding bike trails. Grinnell is looking at ways to ensure every person in the population is exposed to the possibility of living a healthy lifestyle. The thing that we have to do as a community better than what we're doing right now is to be able to identify which demographics are we meeting the needs of and which demographics are we not seeing, choosing either choosing not to see or are so hidden that they're harder to see. How do we identify who those people are? Grinnell is a community that is anxious to put the expertise of its diverse population together to create a model for other towns to follow. Part of what I've always been passionate about doing is community development, and this is the essence of doing it well. A model that begins with a distinguished designation. I think that the Blue Zones project offers Grinnell the opportunity to really throw some fuel on the fire we already have, but will build that collaboration in, in ways that, that we've not yet attained. It's an opportunity for those who call the jewel of the prairie home to find that next gem to make this town shine. And if we do have the Blue Zones project, 
as kind of the, the wind beneath our wings, we'll get over that hump of the next step of really having an all-inclusive, not only all-inclusive of diverse and different populations, but inclusive of all the areas of life, not just eating and health and, and fitness.